Hello everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. In the last episode we took on, I think it was like Route 25 was the route that it was called, and um, we met Bill, who had turned himself into a talking Pokemon, and as thanks for turning him back to human, he gave us tickets to the SSN, which is something that we'll be doing soonish later, not in this episode. Actually, in this episode, we are going to be taking on the Cerulean City Gym? Yep, Cerulean City Pokemon Gym. The Misty, the tomboyish mermaid. I've never heard that before. But anyway, we've got on our team right now, currently, Jitters and Tyrant. So, let's jump right into this. Okay. Yo, champ in the making. Misty, the gym leader of the Cerulean City Gym, is a powerful trainer. You'll need a Pokemon at least level 15 if you want to challenge your gym. Show me a Pokemon of at least level 15 if you want to take on the gym. Sure. Jitters. Impressive. I see you have a Pokemon that is at least level 15. In that case, head on in and good luck. So, it requires level 15 Pokemon, but if I remember correctly, the Pokemon in this gym are like close to level 20. Whatever. Appearing in Glamorous Flash, my Pokemon will totally stomp you. Okay, let's see about that. You are challenged by Beauty Lily. A Goldeen! Here's the thing about this water type gym all of you are weak against my electric type. Uh, in the original games, like Red and Blue, with the three, the best starter that you could start with was Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur being a grass type, being strong against rock and his rock, Barak and his ground and rock type, and Misty and her water types. Um, and then by the time you get to the third gym, you would have something to go against um, that gym leader. Uh, so Bulbasaur is your best starter. Uh, in yellow version, um, you're forced to start with Pikachu, and so you have to figure out how you're gonna go against Brock, because electric types are not strong against rock and ground types. They're actually like, it won't do damage sometimes. Um, my brother always suggested, and we did it, was get a Nidoran male, or a Nidoran female, because they can learn a fighting type move, which we learned is strong against rock and ground types. Um, which I think it's Horn Attack, or it was Double Kick, which is what we have now. Um, and then by the time we got to the second gym, though, Pikachu would be... It's perfect to go up against, uh, with Misty. So, it was always, it's always interesting to think about when you, with your starters on who you're going to start with. Because, um, like, you have to go through the gym leaders against them. That was always my challenge with... Heart Gold and Soul Silver, or, or like Gold and Silver. Um, Typhlosion or Cyndaquil is the best starter, I think. But I had Totodile, and like the last gym leader in that game always caused me trouble. So much trouble because it's a dragon type gym leader, which is just. Dragon types are the bane of my existence, in all honesty. Uh, my brother loves dragon types, and so it just absolutely is a challenge going against them because they're only weak against other dragon types or ice types. And in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you can't get an ice type until like right before the last gym. So you're going to go in there with a weak Pokemon. Um, what I never thought of doing, which would have been the obvious thing, was teach for alligator who I'd use as a starter an ice type move but whatever anyway we're already to misty those three trainers were super easy hi you're a new face what's your policy on Pokemon what's your approach my policy for battle is an all-out offensive with water type Pokemon misty the world famous beauty is your host my sweet Pokemon are ready are you I mean yeah um, recently I had been talking to a friend about Pokemon and I was like, what would happen if you played a game 
only using one type like Brock and Misty do in the anime. I mean, Brock, okay, Brock uses only rock type, doesn't use only rock type, but I'm fairly certain Misty only uses water types throughout the entire show. Um, except Togepi. Togepi's a normal type at the time. Um, oh, golly. So, it's just not, it, that just, that's just an interesting thought, is like, what if you went through the whole game with one type? Because you can teach a water type Pokemon non-water type moves. So you have to do that. Um, Starmie. See, oh, level 19. In the original games, I'm pretty sure Starmie's like level 22. So they downsized its level. Uh, do I heal? I guess. Maybe I, I should probably heal. This is gonna use Supersonic. I think Tyrant could take down Starmie if it needed to. I could use Thunder. I could use Thunder Wave though. Paralyze it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I should have healed. Okay. Uh, yeah, you got this. You can do this. Watch me die. I'll be so mad. Watch me die. I don't think I have a revive. I don't know. Oh, that does nothing. Thank you. Critical hit. Not very effective. Cool. Oh. Oh. Do I have a revive? <gasps> I do. I do have a revive. Just in case. That'd be really bad if I lost against Misty. Why is this super effective? Is Tyrant a poison ground type? And I'm not understanding that. Oh my gosh, it is. Okay, never mind. That's why it was super effective. Okay. Okay. Let's use Thunder Wave. There we go. Oh, you could... You could not. Okay. Well, we're gonna also then use a potion. Yeah, good. There we go. Okay. Ugh. And thunder shock. Yeah, there we go. Took it down. Grew to level 20. Awesome. We beat Misty. Alright, you can have a Cascade badge to show that you beat me. Look at that. We did it. You got a Cascade badge from Misty. A Cascade badge makes Pokemon up to level 30 from other trainers listen to you, and you can also have my favorite TM, which I think is yep, Scald. Um, which we actually are going to use later in the game for one of our partner Pokemon. Uh, move Scald, use another Pokemon that lives in the water. I think Scald has the possibility of burning a Pokemon too, like giving the burn status. What's up, Jitters? Jitters waved around with a proud expression, trying to get attention. Um, I feed you. I feed you, Raspberry. Eat the berry. Good job. Come on. <laughs> Just like my cat. I touch it I touched my cat's tail and he'll bat at me. Cool. Okay, so we beat Misty. That was quick. Something gonna happen afterwards? Feel like it's nope, no cutscene like last time. Okay, so let's heal up at the Pokemon Center. Yep, 
rest of my Pokemon, rest of my all of two Pokemon that I've gone through this game so far with. Though, if I am correct, we are actually going to be getting one of our next partner Pokemon as I grab Woof stuff around on the desk. And yes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. If I have my route numbers right, I should. So, we just gotta go up here. Oh, hey, give me back my Pokeball. The Squirtle. Squirtle. I love Squirtle. I always started with him. Oh, how could I do such a thing? I need to keep an eye on this house. Get back here. What's up with this house? I'm just gonna walk right in because no one's watching the house. Oh. Mika. Mika. Jitters is very concerned. Mika. What, a raspberry? Or the big old gaping hole in the wall? Mika, Mika. Yes. Okay. Do you guys have anything to say? Look at what, my, what Team Rocket have done to my house. And they stole my TM, the one that can teach Pokemon like Mankey and Sandshrew the move Dig. Which, we actually need that. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into something no good. Haha. <laughs> ah, uh, because they stole the Dig TM. Hello, suspicious Team Rocket man. Hey, stay out. It's not your yard. Huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't you believe me? No. Because you're turned around like nothing's going on. Which makes you extra suspicious. Team Rocket Grunt. Radicate. Okay. Okay. We can deal with you easily. Let's do double kick. That was not nice. One more. There we go. Two hundred and sixteen experience. Cool, we beat him. I'm pretty sure in the original game he is a drowsy. Uh which is a Pokemon we have not seen yet, I don't think. Maybe we have. Stop, I give up, I'll leave quietly. Yeah. Some muns. Okay, I'll return the TM I stole. You recovered TM10 dig. Okay, so we we got dig. I better get moving by, which is actually an, a move I want to teach a Pokemon. What Pokemon, you might ask? Dig on Tyrant. Let's get rid of... Oh, gosh. Horn attack. Yeah. Cool. Learn dig instead. Uh, we need a ground type move for at the next gym, which actually reminds me, I'm just going to quick. Can I? Oh, and oh, there we go. Cool. Um. Oh, I want to talk to that guy. Actually, I just used the TM without his asking if, like, what's up? Oh, you're true, the TM? Thank you very much. You can keep that, though. I've decided to take my time train, Diglett, and have them learn to dig all that way. What about you? Do you have something new to say? Excuse me. Nope. Nothing new. I, I hate and love quests where it's like, oh, this thing is missing. Retrieves thing. Oh, you can just keep it. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Let's see, where are we at? Because if it's the route, I think where it is. Route, 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 route five. Oh, it's a Pidgeotto. There's actually a Pokemon that I am looking for. And it appears on this route. You got three great balls. 
There it is. No. No, I jumped down. No. Okay, it should still be there. If I go quickly, it should still be there. Oh, there's a Jigglypuff. Yes! The next person on our team is going to be Growlithe. Oh my god, it was so cute. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got him. I hope. Yes! Caught Growlithe. Gosh, what should I name him? I don't know what to nickname him. Uh, golly, I don't know what to nickname him. Okay, I don't think we have a Jigglypuff, so I'm gonna try to catch this thing. Look at that. Oh, a little pink marshmallow. I. Oh my gosh. No. Oh gosh. No. 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 I'm. Yep. I want to give up. Because it, it started moving around and I, I can't, like. Ugh. The motion controls right now, for the life of me, can't do it. Okay, um. Well, let's actually open our party because we have Growlithe and I want to change his name. I don't know what to name him. Oh my god, this is so stupid, but for some reason, this comes, keeps coming to my name. Blitzy. Okay, that kept coming to my head anytime I was trying to think of a name. And we're actually gonna. We're gonna put him in the front, and it'd be cool to take him out of the Pokeball. I'm only putting him in the front because I want to level him up. Um, Tyrant is actually gonna be a really big key player in the next for the next gym, but it's this is fine the way it is. Anyway, uh, if you come here, this building is the daycare. Uh, name's Mr. Hyper, my young friend. If you ever achieve the title of champion, be sure to come back here. Okay. Uh, daycare lady. We can drop a Pokemon off here. And I think it's like every step is an experience point. So if you drop a Pokemon off, uh, they'll level up on their own here. So that's cool. It, it's not like super worth it to do that. Like it's not super worth it to drop a Pokemon off and think they're going to be super strong if you come back to them before the Elite Four. Because they won't. That's the uh, that's the thing about it. It's more or less it'd be more used for like breeding, but we can't put two Pokemon on the same daycare in this game. So anyway, there's um Trace. Oh hey Carson. Seems like we can't pass through the gate here. I didn't show that, but yeah, I think the guy that like wants in um wants like something to drink, so he won't let you pass. Uh, but the underground path should take us to the Vermilion City. It's a bit dark and spooky, though. Huh? Hold still for one sec, Carson. What? You're... You're very close. Sir? I was wondering what the sparkly thing was. That was stuck in your hair. What? Oh, a revive. Okay. <clears throat> How, um, mm, okay. Revives can heal Pokemon that have been knocked out in a battle. I have a few extra, so here, take some of mine, too. Okay. Thanks. One, I don't know how a revive was in my hair because the revives look like gold diamond shaped things. Maybe those will help you when you take on the next gym. Oh, what are you trying to say? Huh? Are those SS tickets you have? Here, take one. I mean, yeah. You gave Trace one of your SS tickets. Oh, because we had two of them. For some reason, I thought I'd have to use a ticket for Pikachu. For Jitters, I mean. Hey, you sure I can have this? You know I'm definitely going, right? Where'd you get this anyway? Eek, you got it from that talking Pokemon? Oh, what? Oh, it was the person after all? Well, I guess that's good to hear. Hey, you just left him hanging. Hey, just uh, forget about that whole thing, okay? I think I'll press on ahead. See you later. 
I thought we would have had to fight him. I wonder if we... if, Because in the original games, it was like the dude wanted something to drink. Is it? I'm on guard duty, and I take my duty very seriously, but gee, am I ever thirsty. I wish I had some tea to drink. Oh, hold on there, kid. I'm afraid I can't let you pass through here. Yeah, because we don't have tea. So we can't let him through. We can't get through. Um, it kind of it stops you from going to a gym, one gym first before going to another. What does this guy do? When my Pokemon is on my shoulder, it'll let you, when on my shoulder, it will let me know with its tail when there is an item on the ground nearby. Oh, okay, cool. Good for you, I guess. Now we travel this long haul. Look at look at look at Blitzy. He's just such a good boy. God, such a long haul. And we don't have a certain item to make it go faster. So want to you got anything the lighting's not great in the underground path people drop a lot of things on there i hear yeah that's why probably why i dropped or why i grabbed found two items sitting down there but and route six there's a psyduck it's huge that's not very nice okay oh you jerk Got it. Oh. <clears throat> Wait. Uh. Well, it's actually. I use a great ball. That help. That doesn't help that much. Okay. Um. Raspberry too. That helped. Okay. Good. If this does not catch him, I'd be very upset. That was me hitting my leg. What the heck? Why did that not work? Okay. Um. Let's see if this works. Oh, that just slows the circle down. There we go. Ah, that was more challenging than it should have been. Yes. Cool. Okay. Um. Let's run up here. I think. Oh, super potion. That's not what I thought it was. So this is like the other gate where the guy won't let us through. I was about to say, there's got to be something up here. You don't just put a random slope. So we got a rare candy. That's cool. Might give that. I might give that to Blitzy. I don't know. Um, double battle? Question mark. No, it's just it's a one on one. They could have easily just put a double battle here. Here, Camper Ricky, a sand shrew. This was a poor type matchup, I think. Oh, crud. Okay. Um. Oh my gosh, and you only know one fi- Oh, jeez. Ooh. Okay, um. Let's go, Tyrant. not uh you know i didn't fully think this through though because if he knows a ground time move i'm pretty sure ground is strong against poison oh okay use poison on poison i guess
please take this out. Nope. And this will take that out. Good. Sandshrew is taken down. Ooh, Tyrant grew to level 19. Uh, Nidoran. We can switch back. We can switch back. To Blitzy. Is Blitzy a boy or girl? Did not think that through. Fully. Uh, boy. Okay, uh, that's fine. Ember. Blitzy is weak compared to the other Pokemon. Oh gosh. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're okay. Oh, I'm poisoned. Crud. That's fine. This next shot, this next one should take out the Nidoran. Oh, that was a weird amount of time to load. Taken down. Cool. Now I have to heal. Let's see. Bag. Not TM case. And you. This is a private conversation. I don't know. Your other friend was like, yo, let's battle. Picnicker Nancy. She got an iterant female. Uh, I didn't heal, but see. Oh. Oh. I should have just sent out. I should. I should just send out Tyrant because Tyrant knows a ground type move, which I'm fairly certain ground type moves are strong against poison type Pokemon. Hmm. Didn't do nothing. Yeah, let's do dig. Whoop, and it's gone. <laughs> Uppercut it from the ground. Yeah, I was right. Ground type moves are super super effective against poison Pokemon. Um Jigglypuff, we will keep Tyrant out. As long as you don't use Sing. Just thought about that. Oh, that's not super effective. Poison type might be. I think they changed Jigglypuff to a fairy type in this game. Let's see. Um, taken out. Awesome. Uh, oh, I can't even walk between the two of them. Uh, yep. Battle you like a gentleman. Gentleman Edward. God, he looks real snarky. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, he's got an Eevee! What level is your Eevee? 16. Gosh, Blitzy is weak. Switch out to Tyrant, which is fine because Tyrant needs to be leveling up two for the next gym. And double kick. Uh, 
taken out. Super effective. Thunderbolt. Uh, let's get rid of Quick Attack. Now, the reason I'm getting rid of that and not Thunder Shock is because normal type moves are not super effective against anything. Um, so I don't see a point in them. This guy hiding behind his back, though. He's gonna What's this? A guard spec. I don't ever use specs. Okay, so... Ah! There's a sailor dude. Could you... Could you not? Oh, what just hit me? Oh, a flippin' Pidgey. Okay. Goodness. I did not see the Pidgey. Cool, we caught the Pidgey. Caught the Pidge. I don't know what kind of Pokemon you're going to be using. I would say a water type. I think you water type user. Sailor Elijah. Tentacool, yep. Water type Pokemon. I should have switched over to... Should have switched over to uh, Jitters. <clears throat> because Jitters knows Thunderbolt now. Which will absolutely, ab absolutely, absolutely, absolutely destroy a water type. You know, growing up, I always thought Tentacle was supposed to be a octopus or a squid Pokemon, and recently I was told that Tentacle is actually a jellyfish Pokemon, which was total news to me. Yeah, taken out one hit. Sorry, dude. Sorry, not sorry, actually. And I think we're rounding out the end of this route soon. Paralyze heal. That's nice. Okay, this is a double battle. I know for sure this is a double battle. You want to talk to me? No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. I've been had. Camper Jeff. Ah, uh, it's a grass type. <laughs> Finally, Blitzy can shine. And burn. Burn. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Oh, uh, Ember. Thank you. Yes, Blitzy is level 14. Takedown? Sure, I mean, sure, it's better than Leer. Actually want to heal up quick. Medicine pocket. Potion won't hurt. There we go. That I feel like that should have triggered a double battle. It's a little upsetting to me that it didn't. Picnicker Isabel. Char. Uh -huh. Mm, okay. 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 Uh, we're gonna switch over to Tyrant. And Yule. It's because I'm pretty certain ground type moves are super effective against fire type moves. I know for sure rock type is. Just don't know if ground type is. Dig. Yep. Yep. Oh, 
Cool. Taken out, and I think with that, we are in Vermilion City. So, a little longer episode. I want to get through Route 5 and Route 6. Um, and we did the gym leader in all one episode. A little longer, it's fine. In the next episode, uh, we'll be right back here in Vermilion City. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye.